Hello and welcome. My name is Seven Vinton. I'm an employee of the Department of Education Victoria and I'm currently teaching at Oberon High School. Okay, so today we are going to look at how to install and use the Microsoft Office apps on an iPad. Uh, but just before we get started, uh, the way I am screencasting my iPad onto my PC screen is by using a application on my PC called Reflector. And that Reflector application is about $19 US uh, and it allows you to connect via Wi-Fi uh, using the iPad's uh, AirPlay. So if we click on the AirPlay um, tab there, you can see that um, my, comp my PC is coming up as an option and I've switched mirroring on, which allows me to um, screencast that on my PC. So quite a handy tool if you need to screencast uh, your iPad for your classes, etc. Okay, so let's have a look now at um, connecting our Microsoft apps on our iPad. So the Microsoft apps are free to download from the App Store and they are free to use with a personal Microsoft uh, Cloud account. So if you've got a Microsoft account such as Hotmail or a Live account, uh, you can use this, uh, these apps for free, so that means you can uh, edit and uh, create documents for free and save them to your personal storage area in your personal OneDrive on your um, personal Microsoft Cloud account. If you have a corporate account, such as a business account or school account, uh, you'll first need to check whether your school or business has the uh, subscriptions to use the Microsoft um, Office uh, apps and applications. Um, so you can check that with your ad administrator uh, because if you don't have a Microsoft uh, subscription on one of those accounts, you, you will be able to view the uh, documents but you won't be able to save or edit those documents. Okay, so let's um, get started. Okay, so first of all, we'll just uh, log in here, so sign in. So I'm going to sign in with um, a student account here uh, because uh, at the moment on the uh, Department of Education uh, Office 365, only the students have um, access to those Microsoft subscriptions. Okay, and that will redirect us to the Department of Education's login page. Okay, so we're all set. So let's have a look at what, what this looks like. Okay, so you can see it looks just like um, Microsoft Word on your PC or, or Mac. Um, you've got the options to use templates or blank documents. So we'll go ahead and create a blank document. Okay, and we'll just do a, a quick test document here. Okay, and if we hit the little um, arrow icon up the top left, um, that will ask us now where we want to save that document. So I'm going to choose here the um, just the OneDrive for this account, and you'll see on the top right-hand side we've got the option to save. We'll rename this document. and then hit save. Okay, so now that it's taking me to the uh, recent documents um, area of, of this particular app uh, and you can actually pin documents to this um, page here. So if you've got a document that you need to um, keep readily available, you can just um, pin the document by hitting the little pin icon to the left there and that will pin that document there um, so that it's easy for you to find ne the next time you want to access it. Uh, so let's have a look at some of the, um, the other areas of this app. So we can actually add uh, areas to this, so areas that um, like such as site, um, 
class sites, etc., um, where you need to to save documents. Um, so you can see we've got the, the SharePoint option here, and at the moment that's just the um, the general sh SharePoint site for this particular account. But I want to add in a, a new place, so I click on Add New Place, and I am going to pick a SharePoint URL. So here's the, sh uh, the page to put in the URL. I am going to go now and retrieve a URL for this. And I've got this one here. So I'll copy that. Come back over to... Whoop, and paste that in. Okay, now you can see what happened here because I directly just copied and pasted the URL from the address bar on the um, the Explorer um, window. So I, I was using uh, Chrome Explorer there uh, and it said it, it can't be done. But what you actually have to do here, we go back to that link again. Uh, where are we here? Okay, you can see this link here has the uh, default.aspx on, on the back there. So we don't actually want that. So all we want to do is copy. We want to just copy up until where it says the name of the particular site. So on this one here, it's the, um, the rabbit hole and then the... Um, the back backslash or sorry forward slash um, so we don't want that default dot ASPX so if we copy that now come back over to our word application and delete that there and paste once again and hit next So this time we are connecting. Okay. So a little trick there on how to um, how to copy and paste those URLs from your class sites, etc. Uh, so let's have a look at um, uh, uh, saving if a student wanted to save their work into the Dropbox for a class site. So we can see here if I click on Dropbox, we have the student's Dropbox come up as an option and notice um, how the permissions work for that particular Dropbox on the class sites on the Department of Education um, Office 365 that the students can only see their own Dropbox folders. They can't see the folders of any other students whereas the teacher can see all of the folders within that Dropbox. Okay, so if we go and create a new file once again and Click on a new document, blank document again. So, okay, and then go to save that one again. And this time I am going to choose this particular folder here. So that's this student's folder within the Dropbox. And we'll leave that one as document three, I think and hit save and so there we go that document has been saved into the Dropbox on that class site um, you do also have the option of, um, of saving to the uh, iPad itself Okay, so once again, in the save um, options, we have the iPad as one of the options. So we can save directly to the iPad. Okay, so once that document is saved to the iPad, so you can see here document number four is saved to the iPad, you can actually then move that to the cloud by clicking on the little upload icon to the right hand side there and 
you see we can share this particular document by emailing, but we also can move it to the cloud. So, and then we just uh, have the same op options as we had before, where we can, um, sorry, where we can choose a place. So if the student wants to save the document to their iPad, but then later on upload it to the Dropbox, then they have that option to do so. Okay, and so once a student uploads work into that folder, the teacher receives an email, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like um, from the other side, on, on the actual um, browser side on, on your PC as well. Okay, so if we go now to the browser and we have a look at um, the folder where the documents were saved, just saved uh, from the iPad just a moment ago. So we'll go into site contents on this particular class site. Then click on the Dropbox and browse to that student's folder. There's only one student folder in here at the moment. And we can see those new documents there. So that was the that was the one we just uploaded from the iPad storage on the iPad just then, uh, and the other documents that were saved directly into the Dropbox. Okay, so a pretty handy and efficient way to move files from the uh, or move documents, should I say, from the iPad to a, a cloud location where they can be easily accessed by others. Um, so this that works exactly the same on, on all of the, um, the other Office uh, apps there. So same for PowerPoint, same for Excel, for OneNote, etc. Um, so let's just have a look and see if you want to change your account or delete your account or reset your account on these Office apps, how to do that. So if we go to the, um, the settings, area and just scroll down to find the app on the um, left hand side here uh, but first before we do this you want to then quit out of the application or sorry the app and go in here and you'll see down the bottom here on the right hand side we've got reset word we click on that and then we just switch those two um, on there, clear all documents and delete all sign-in credentials and then when we go back and open that app again then we're back to square one. So hopefully that will help you out with using these apps on your iPad and be sure to check out my other posts and videos on similar topics. Thank you.